Hello everyone and welcome back to Equilinox where we have returned back to the origins of our very first sheep. We are down here where our, our very very first trees and sheep actually began and look at this we're actually on generation 55 which is kind of amazing oh my gosh. But it is now time to encourage these young sheep sheep to actually become deer because I'm quite intrigued at unlocking more of the creatures that we have waiting for us in Equilnox, especially the really fun ones like a beaver uh, and a camel, which would be really cool. All while we tenderly watch over our beautiful banana farm. As these bananas begin to grow, they will hopefully begin to produce enough to get the banana farmer achievement just is churning all of the time, constantly rewarding us with 30,000 DP, just like our apple a day. Look at it, it just goes up every second. Every hundred seconds, basically, we get 55 or 5,000 free DP. So I'm really hoping that'll be how it goes with our banana farm as time goes on, but we'll have to see. And we even have some little toucans hanging out over here who will come to live happily in our little banana forest. And our very first desert hares down here amongst the cactus. They are very content right now and doing pretty well, but I wonder how they would feel if they had cranky camels spitting at them. Because that is another, with spitting image, another huge place that you can actually get DP is by having genetically modified cranky camels spitting at things. So that sounds really cool. Um, I have to admit, so I definitely want to work on getting cranky camels, but we have to start with sheep. And the reason we have to start with sheep is because to turn these sheep, uh, and actually we could use these ones, I forgot we had brown sheep down here, but to turn, uh, like to get camels, you need deer. And to get deer, you need to transform sheep into those deer. And so we need sheep that live in 70% woodland and they eat fruit bushes. So we have several sheep over there that already look like they would be good deer. We have several fruit bushes over here. So I'm thinking I want to jump over here and grab a sheep. Uh, Pepe, maybe. Let's see, Pepe or Curly or Tramp. Tramp seems fairly young. Let's grab you. And Tramp is going to wander through the woodland and then work his way over to this spot right here where hopefully he is going to, yeah, look at him. He's happy. There's lots of room to frolic here. He can come eat some fallen fruit. Uh, hopefully he'll come eat the berries pretty soon. And then once he eats from the fruit bushes, we can actually turn him into a deer. So hopefully that won't take too long. And while we're down here, we can remind ourselves that the poppies are our eventual goal. But to transform buttercups into poppies, you have to have ruby red poppies. <laughs> or ruby, ruby red buttercups to make poppies. And that's, you know, 700,000 DP. So that's gonna take a hot minute. We really can't work on that just yet. What else could we potentially evolve? The oregano is already happy. The berry bushes could become blueberries if they had bees nearby. But to get bees, we need poppies. So you can start seeing how everything is an interrelated puzzle that I do quite enjoy. Let's see, I could have sworn bluebells are somewhere too. All right, Tramp, your goal, we're gonna name you Berry, and your goal is to eat some berries, okay? And then once you eat some berries, in fact, we're gonna have to watch him. We have to wait till he gets hungry. Yes, we got the banana farmer achievement. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Awesome. I wonder if I can change the color of some of these snapdragons to like cyan. That'd be really cool. Maybe orange. Ooh, light blue. Ooh, I like the idea of light blue snapdragons. And that's not that expensive. All right, we'll have to see if we get some light blue snapdragons here now. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a baby! Patsy! Patsy, you're gonna be the one to turn into a deer! Holy cow! Good job, Barry! You just had a child named Patsy, and I'm immediately going to rename this little one to Bambi, because Patsy and Bambi are going, ooh, and there's our light blue snapdragon already are going to give rise to the deer, our very first deer. Any second now, these little sheep that wandered away from home are going to end up creating an entirely new creature here in Equilinox, which is very exciting. 
Also, we should have some butterflies over here. What am I doing? They would be perfect. They would breed quickly. Where's my butterflies? No requirement. There we go. Yeah, they would breed quickly and they would increase the productivity of these berry bushes. And the berry bushes added ability. All right, yeah, look, and I can make, ooh, can I make different color berry bushes? Ah, just like muddy green ones, bah. That's not as interesting as I was hoping. There's the sycamore trees. The nut trees, unfortunately, won't come down any further from up on high. Hmm, what else can I mess with? Oh, there's our little butterfly. It's eating a snapdragon, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. Look, we have the cyan snapdragon again already, wow. All right, well, let's speed things up. Little Bambi is still thinking about deer. Oh my gosh, we are getting so much DP while we're waiting for this. Banana Farmer Achievement, ahoy! I really feel like that is beginning to take, take better root. Butterfly Hunter is constantly going up. Apples, butterflies, the Butterfly Hunter with all of the frogs in the jungle are doing really well. The Banana Farmer isn't going up as fast, um, but it is beginning to climb. All right, we're gonna focus, deer. <gasps> you had another baby, oh my goodness. All right, come on, deer, deer, deer. Deer, deer. And, you guys ready for this? Bambi is about to produce the very first deer. Any second now. Come on. All the butterflies are waiting. You know what we don't have over here? Sparrows. Nice. Now we do. Do we still have white sparrows? Let's make sure we have white sparrows. Uh, there we go, white. There. All right, now we should definitely have white sparrows over here. All right, this sheep is really thinking about stuff. It's really like, you know, I like a good berry bush, but, all right, come on. Yes, there we go, guys. The very first deer has come to join us. Hopefully it will be happily uh, raised by the sheep. Its name is Nemo. We're gonna name you uh, Doe. Lee, ooh, Dolly, baby. And what can we do with you? To make it into a camel, we need blueberry bushes and a beaver lodge. Oh my gosh. Well, things just got more complicated than I expected. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, so to make the deer into a camel, and now we have the Dolly like herd of deer, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, I think I might need to like move the sheep. Huh, I'll have to think about that. But that makes me happy. Hopefully it will eat a lot of things. It likes honey and fruit bushes. Well, we need more blueberry bushes then. And apparently to get blueberry bushes, gosh, this is all coming down to the poppies again. This is gonna be where we'll have our field of poppies eventually. We need more, we need more. And we need beavers in the future apparently. This is getting more and more complex. How do I get beavers? I probably need more fish. Let's move some, what are you all doing over here? There's too many of you. That's why you're like trying to die. Get over here. Spread out a little bit, purple fish. Like it's not terribly hard. You have an entire beautiful pond that I have given you. I wish the populations would kind of take a hint and spread out a bit more, but it makes sense that they want to stay near to each other and safe. All right, yeah, I love my purple trout, so I'm really happy to just transplant a bunch of them and convince them to start spreading out. I should probably work on making a pike in the future too. Yes, the banana farmer achievement. We almost are close enough I could kind of risk getting poppies, but I sort of want to see what would it take to make a beaver? Come here, bunny. Itsy. Uh, bulrush and a wobbly tree. Bulrush again. All right, guys. Somehow we have come down to this lakeside. In our efforts and endeavors to get camels, we now have deer, but now we need bulrush. So let's find out where the bulrush is. Uh, there's the poppies. Here's the blue bells, which evolved from tulips. The swamp grass, ooh, which completes the oh deer task. Oh, we can get a swamp once we have enough deer for the oh deer task. Where's the oh deer task? There we go. We need three satisfied deer and it will unlock the swamp grass. Breed a deer by keeping sheep in a woodland biome where they have a diet of berries. Once you've unlocked the deer species, make sure that there's a suitable habitat for it to live in. Have three deer in the world with over 80% satisfaction. Hmm. 
Like health? Hmm. Like species. So this deer is unhappy that it doesn't have any honey, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's why why this deer is kind of like only so-so. Hmm. I wonder if there's something I could do about that. Because it wants to have more berry bushes and it wants honey. So we're back to the bees. <laughs> and we're back to waiting for poppies. You know what? You know what? I'm beginning to think. I'm beginning to think we're going to have to take this kind of seriously, guys. Let's go back over to our banana farm. I'm going to speed things up. Like, mercilessly speed things up. As we go, 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 go. And the bananas are spreading on our banana farm. As they should. Spread tropical. Flowering grass. And then we can protect the banana farm. We can actually protect the banana farm from the desert coming in by putting down stones. Because look at that. The yucca hate the stones. They die off immediately. They won't put up with having stones. So wherever we put down the stones, the yucca will leave. Which is good. And then we can even put down some rocks if I can find them. There we go. For our lizards to hide under. And that means spread tropical. Don't want to do too many, but I do want to establish a little bit more of a tropical presence here. And hopefully, can I get my banana trees? Why are you unhappy? Oh, you're so expensive. But your productivity is so high. Oh, this better be worth it. All right, live well. Okay, good. I think our bananas are beginning to spread too. Yeah, just gently transplanting and spreading the really, really, really high quality bananas seems to help out a lot. Uh, the banana trees, because we have really highly productive banana trees. All right, that was painful to do, but on some level, I think it's going to be okay. And I kind of want to put down a little, a little frog over here. Yeah, we got the banana farmer achievement. I think we're just going to have to get the poppies, guys. There's just no way around it. To get satisfied deer, I think we need bees to make hives. Because the Dolia tribe with Dolia the second is not very happy. There we go. So now we have our, our deer Doli. And to celebrate their arrival, I think we're just going to really speed up and cross our fingers for everything we are worth with the hope that we can have the poppies. Oh, and I wonder if I should make a little lush area over here. Ooh, I haven't put the lush ground down yet. The lush grass down yet. Oh, because I haven't gotten turnips yet. Well, pink tree. I did get a pink tree. Will it spread that biome? I'm going to risk putting one down. And we'll see. Is it going to die or is it going to live and spread a lush biome? All right. No more wasting DP. Oh, 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 I think it's gonna stay. Maybe. It's trying really, really hard. There's just not enough of its, its fellows though. So I don't know if it's gonna be able to manage it. But the pink tree can turn into a red tree. Imagine that. I love how interrelated all of this begins to become. And I think all of the little sheep we have over here, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start transplanting them. Uh, maybe over here. What can they eat over here? Who knows? They're gonna hang out with the chickens over here. And then we're going to just allow the deer to take over this area so that they don't have a lot of competition. But the sheep have done their job. They had the children that they were supposed to have over here. All right. Oh, we have a deer named Thursday. That's adorable. All right. And they can, they can bounce and we'll see if they're successful spreading that way. Here we go. And now the deer have more room. There's a little sparrow baby. They should hopefully thrive over here. We have all these white sparrows that can eventually become doves. Um, <gasps> and we have enough DP! It's time, you guys! Let's find a young and healthy buttercup ready for, ready for action. We're gonna remove a few of the buttercups around it to give it a little bit of space to breathe. All right. Health is going up. It's pretty happy. It's thinking about joyous buttercup thoughts. Oh, okay. To celebrate the Deer Dolly tribe arriving, we did it. We just spent 700,000 DP. 
<laughs> and now we will let the night go by and see if as the sun rises upon our new tribe of deer, we have managed to get red buttercups. If not, we're gonna be kind of sad panda. Oh my gosh, please tell me that's a red. It's a red buttercup. Oh no, and Bambi, the, the sheep has passed away. It is a red buttercup. It is time. We're gonna go ahead and remove the buttercups that are not red. Uh, okay, there's a red buttercup. Oh yes, there's red buttercups. Oh, remove you, remove you. Okay, and this is gonna become a field of red buttercups. And we'll wait till the morning. Hang in there, hang in there. And then in the morning, hopefully, we can look out upon this land and see the beautiful red buttercups and the Dolly tribe nearby. We're getting the banana farmer and the apple tasks faster and faster. All right, we're getting rid of the normal color buttercups. You guys can just go ahead and get out of there. There we go. Normal buttercups, get out of there. This is going to become a field of poppies pretty soon. And let's wait for the sun to rise properly. I'm so excited. Oh, that was a gamble that paid off. I was so worried. <laughs> All right, normal buttercups, get out of here. <laughs> I need the, the red buttercups. It, we did it! All right, we have the deer. The doli deer have come to join us. We have buttercups. Can we turn them into poppies? They're red. They're red. They are red. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ruby red. Oh my gosh! Don't talk to me right now. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. 700,000 DP. 700,000 DP. Because I got so caught up on the idea that we needed the dark red poppies. Alright. Please don't. I. I. I have to live with this. Okay? 5,000 DP. Red. I'm the one who has to live with this. Please. Let me just- let me just live with this for a minute. Let me- let me just process this. Let me have this. Let me accept this- this cruel fate and accept the beautiful, simple red buttercup that has just arrived. Ha- and, and create a poppy. I don't even know how I'm gonna process that. I can't believe that, guys. I I can't believe that. There I was, like, oh, you wouldn't believe it, guys. I have to work so hard. I have to save up so much. You just, you would not believe how hard it is to make a red poppy. And right there, the whole time, the whole freaking time was a simple red poppy. I just, I can't, I just, I am almost beyond words with myself right now. Almost beyond words. We're gonna improve the beauty and the the deliciousness of the Dolly Forest. Um, I'm also going to transplant a couple of the Acer trees if they so wish. Uh, let's see, Acer tree, population density very high. Would you like a woodland? You would like a woodland. So we're gonna transplant one of the super special acer trees and make a beautiful little doli forest next to what will eventually become a lush biome. I can't believe this. The poppies and the bees were available the whole time. I just made everything too hard on myself. <laughs> As I am wont to do. <laughs> oh no, what does the poppy need? <laughs> You need stones and you need woodland. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Stones, stat. All right, there we go. And a few of these other guys like stones too. If you don't like stones, you can just skedaddle because this is going to be a field of poppies for our Dolly deer herd. I'm still blushing. I I can feel the fire on my cheeks from blushing so hard. You guys, you have no idea. I, my cheeks are like on fire. I, I saw red and it was dark red and it made sense to me that it would be hard to get. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But here we go. We finally have it. We have our beautiful deer. 
we have poppies, we have blue snapdragons. This is looking like just such a gorgeous manicured wonderland. And how will we make it evolve next? Well, we could make sunflowers for one thing, which sound amazing. Oh my gosh. Dolia the second has unfortunately passed away. We will go ahead and take care of that in just a second. I'm going to make very big poppies to spread through this land. Um, and Kylie is the third generation. Johnny is the third generation. We'll go ahead and name Kylie Doli the third. There we go. And we'll just try to keep that up and going. Oh, there's a little one right over here too. <sighs> All right, well, we have some large poppies that are going to be coming in. And now that we have large poppies, um, we can also focus on trying to get some of the other animals, like the bees. I think we needed bees from the butterflies that were near poppies. And that is why we had that whole kerfuffle. But you know what? I'm always going to remember creating such an elaborate, like, elaborate, elaborate, <laughs> hilariously elaborate, um banana farm all so that we could go ahead and have um a whole bunch of dp to get a very 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 expensive poppy <laughs> i can't believe i did that i i can't believe i did that that's just so me isn't it it is just so me uh but we're gonna be removing a whole bunch of the normal buttercups remove mini thank you very much we're going to be yanking out the normal buttercups. I am going to be transplanting one of these super special buttercups uh, over to a protected area where may it spread with all of its joy elsewhere. Are you going to be happy here? It's still population density a little high. Okay, I can fix that. There you go. You are now one of the only buttercups here. That is because you are a wonderful creation. There we go. And it will spread over there. And we will never lose that 700,000 buttercup. And we can start working on poppies, which are beginning to spread, that will eventually nurture some of the bees. So we're getting there. We are getting there, guys. <laughs> I am just flushed to the nth degree. But I love the story and the adventure that we have taken ourselves on trying to get here. So we will continue to spread out. It looks like our trout are super happy. We have plenty more places to encourage them to go here at our Finna meteor landing that we have got. Um, and we've got a lot more to do and we're really starting to actually roll in the DP. I'm telling you, that banana farm was not a bad idea at all. So we will tackle... <laughs> Uh, we'll tackle bees next time, guys, and we will hopefully be able to uh, unlock even more unexpected adventures. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for the sake of my embarrassment or just to pick one of our beautiful poppies. And if you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing, and I will see you guys in this beautiful world next time. Bye, guys.